Uh, now friends, let's discuss how to write a polynomial in standard form. Okay, so when we wish to write a polynomial in standard form, uh, we should begin with the uh, term which is having the variable uh, with highest exponent. Okay, so let's do the first example. It's 9x cube, then plus 8x square, then plus x and minus 7. Do not forget to retain the sign of the term. Okay, here 7 is negative, so I put a negative sign over here x is positive over here so i put a, a positive sign before x okay now similarly let's try this the highest uh, the term with highest uh, exponent of variable is minus 3x cube then minus 5x square then plus 4x and then plus 6 so highest power then the second highest third and the constant okay similarly let's see over here the highest power of the variable is 4 so let's begin with 7x4 then plus 6x cube then minus root 2x square then minus x and then minus 4 okay so it's very simple it's the highest power over here is uh, 4. So let's begin with 9 y raised to 4 plus 5 y cube plus y square minus 7 y minus 11. So this is the method to write a polynomial in standard form. Okay. I hope you are clear. Now let's discuss zeros or roots of a polynomial. Uh, zeros or roots of a polynomial is a value of a variable at which polynomial, uh, let's say px becomes zero. Uh, let's take in one uh, example. If polynomial px is x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6. Suppose I put x is equal to 1 and if I get the value of this polynomial as zero, then 1 is a 0 or we can say the root of the polynomial. Let's put the value of x as 1. So p1 is equal to 1 cube minus 6 into 1 square plus 11 into 1 minus 6. So it's 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6 which is 0. So if I put x is equal to 1, I'm getting the value of this expression or the polynomial as 0. That means 1 is the root or we can say 0 of this polynomial. Okay. Now 0 may be a 0 of a polynomial. Suppose I have a polynomial like x, x4 minus 5. Then in this case, suppose it is a polynomial px. So if I put x uh, as 0, the value of this expression will be 0. Okay, that means 0 is 0 or root of this polynomial, this polynomial, okay. Now, every linear polynomial has at most one 0, okay. That means it has to be there. Every polynomial is uh, having zeros. Now, if it is a linear polynomial, it will be having one zero. Uh, let's take one example. Now, suppose I have a, a linear polynomial, maybe px is equal to x plus 5. Now, if I put x is equal to minus 5, I'll be getting the value as 0. That means minus 5 is a 0 of this linear polynomial. Okay, why we call it a linear polynomial? Because the power of variable uh, over here or we can say exponent of variable over here is just 1. 
okay so uh, we'll be having just one zero for this polynomial or we can say there is just one root for this polynomial uh, we cannot have more than one root if it is a linear polynomial that means you cannot have any other value of x which will make this expression as zero except minus five so you have only one choice that is minus five by which this polynomial will be zero okay so if it is a linear polynomial you will have one zero only okay similarly if it is a quadratic polynomial it will be having at most two zeros or two roots let's take one example uh, suppose i have a polynomial x square minus four let's say px okay now it is it can be written as x plus two into x minus okay so it's px now i'll be having just two values uh, which will make this polynomial as zero these are two and minus two so if i put two then this expression will be zero so if this expression is multiplied by zero the entire expression will be zero so p2 is uh, is zero and p minus two is also zero okay uh, no other values of x will be there uh, which will make this expression as zero that means every quadratic polynomial can have at most two zeros and uh, the quadratic polynomials can have both the zeros as same also okay so in this case we are having two zeros that is two and minus two or we can say we are having two roots as two and minus two okay uh, we'll discuss uh, the concept of roots uh, in detail while solving the problems. Similarly, a cubic polynomial can have at most three zeros. Suppose I have a cubic polynomial px as x minus 1, x minus 2 and x minus 3. It's a cubic polynomial because after expansion we'll be getting the uh, power of x highest power of x i mean is 3 okay so p1 is 0 p2 is 0 and p3 is 0 that means if i put the value of x as 1 2 or 3 the value of this polynomial will be 0 no other value of x can make this polynomial as 0 okay so there are three and maximum three zeros of this polynomial or we can say a cubic polynomial can have at most three zeros or three roots okay now let's discuss a remainder theorem it states that if a polynomial px is divided by a linear polynomial qx uh, then the degree of the remainder must be zero that's uh, that means it has to be a constant and uh, this constant may be a zero uh, i take an example 3x square plus x minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 into 3x minus 2 plus 1 here this one is the remainder okay uh, let's have a quick recap i just divide this expression by x plus 1 that is Three x square plus x minus one. So it's three x, three x square. Then I take it's zero and it's plus three x. So it's minus over here, minus two x minus one. So it's minus two, minus two x minus two. So finally, I'm getting one as a remainder. That means this expression that is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Okay. So here I'm getting the remainder as one. Okay. Now let's see what is factor theorem. Factor theorem determines whether a polynomial Qx is a factor of polynomial Px or not. Here, uh, if it is Qx, it must be something else. 
uh, without performing the actual division. Let Px be a polynomial, maybe it is linear, quadratic, cubic or maybe nth degree. And Pa is equal to 0, that means x is equal to a or x minus a is a factor of Px. Okay, or uh, uh, we can say conversely, if x minus a is a factor of px, then pa is equal to 0. Uh, I take one example. Suppose I have a polynomial px is equal to x square minus 5x plus 6. Now suppose I uh, uh, put the value of x as 2. So what p2 is, it's 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6 that is 4 minus 10 plus 6 that is 0 okay that means p2 is equal to 0 that means if i put x as 2 i get the value of this expression as 0 that means x is equal to 2 or we can say x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial Okay. Similarly, suppose I put x as 3 in this case, further I get the value of this expression as 0. That means even x minus 3 will be a factor of this polynomial. So without performing actual division, we'll come to know uh, about the factors of the given polynomial. So this is what the factor theorem. Okay. Uh, we'll be taking the applications of factor theorem or remainder theorem uh, in the same session on uh, same session only.